Hey friends, my name is Vaibhav and you are on DigiLiterate YouTube channel. Uh, today I am going to talk about how you can scrap LinkedIn data using online tool. I am going to talk about my experience, how I was able to scrap 100k data uh, over a span of one month from over 20 firms uh, for my previous client. So basically this uh, LinkedIn data scrapping, I am going to make two videos. Um, in these two videos, I'm going to talk about one tool in one video. So total two tools I'm going to talk about. So the first tool I'm going to share in this video. Uh, so let's get started on my laptop. I will walk you around how you can use that tool, uh, what precautions you can uh, use and I will make you understand how you can scrap a large volume of data using these tools. So let's get started. What you are seeing right now is LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So for I'm going to show you two tools today. Uh, for using both tools, you will require this sales navigator has a common software with you, right? So if you are not aware, what is LinkedIn Sales Navigator? Is a basically is a solution provided by LinkedIn Sales Solution so that you can find people, uh, you know, lot of people's data. You can get their email ID by integrating this with other tool. How you get that? I will show you in the next, uh, you know, I, I will show you in the next uh, tutorial. Uh, but uh, for now you will require this so you can you don't need to pay there is a free trial available which is available for one month so you can just go to go with the free trial one and the interface if you do not understand the interface is very easy to understand uh, you can watch some tutorials online but as you can see i'm using in front of you and this is what the interface look like it's not at all uh, very difficult to understand so let's get started so this is the tool that is required first thing now second is the tool that i'm talking about which i use for my client to get like 100k data I scrapped so this is the tool this is the extension that you will be requiring right so this is the linkedin sales navigator uh linkedin sales navigator scrapper you have to install this these are the people they have launched this to extension in june month uh, i'm using the this this is relatively new but see there are like 3000 users already so all you have to do is add to the chrome this one so once you are done adding this top software to the chrome uh, you have to also visit their uh, website linkedin sales navigator.com uh, now i'm going to uh, give link in the description of this video to the extension as well as to the linkedin sales navigator dot com right so both of both both this website as well as this extension link will get in the description right so what you have to do is first you have to log in into your account from linkedin sales navigator once you are logged into your account linkedin sales navigator you have to install this chrome extension or whatever the chrome what are the extension available for your browser and the third one is you have to and go to this website and you know uh, start free trial right if you are now like again this is the so this tool obviously have pricing but you also can start your free seven day trials so the pricing of this tool goes like this like 49 dollars per month uh, but they also provide seven day free trial so obviously you can use it uh, you can use only one tool free trial per linkedin account so one free trial you can only use with one linkedin account right so seven days i think are enough to test your things if this work you can go for this paid trial paid tool so i will now log in so as you can see now i'm going to start logging into my account with my linkedin account make sure you are logging into your linkedin account right so as i'm see you can see as i I log into my LinkedIn account. Now you can see this is the dashboard of this LinkedIn Sales Navigator scrap, Scrapper tool, right? So now we have they are asking us to install a Chrome extension, which I which we have already did, right? So what we have to do from here is we have to head on to our LinkedIn Sales Navigator account. Just click on the LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now we are in the now we are on our LinkedIn Sales Navigator dashboard. So so now what you have to do is search people's right. We have to scrap data. 
make sure your extension is you have installed the extension right so this is the extension you can see link green sales navigator extension which you have installed you can find the link in the description now i now i am using uh, windows windows pc and the browser is chrome right so for your we have to search if it is available for ios or for other browsers like yeah so you have to search for that but this is what my system looks like so now what you have to do is search for the leads so suppose let's take an example suppose i want to find geography i am considering as united states so i want to find united states people from united states company they are working for like suppose i want people who are working in facebook just an example right you can type any company which is listed in this linkedin sales navigator account so there is like 42000 people in the united states that are working for facebook right so these are the profile of the people out there you can see so now i would like to minimize the data right so i will just use the seniority levels like suppose i want oh, i want only the owner or the high position like cxo ceo cmo so all those people only i want data of now now this is the data suppose i want right you can use other, another other you know you can use another this these options as well you can just filter out requirements according to your requirements suppose i want only managers i can do that i want only directors of the company of the facebook i can do that so yeah industry like on facebook on on facebook company there are different industries so you can you have to use this software to know more about what this terminology looks like but as you see, I have I filtered this according to my requirements, CEO, XOs. So there are like 363 people. I want to scrap the data, right? How do you do that? So all you have to do is click on the extension here, LinkedIn Sales Navigator extension. Now you have to paste your link access key here, right? So I, what I prefer is, yeah. So you have to, access key is, what is access key will say? This is the copy authentication token key so this is the access key I'm we are talking about right so i have to just go to the extension click the access key paste the access key and enter so now you can see i have logged in to my account all i have to the it is very easy to understand this tool basically there are only three options that is start add history so what we will in history what we see is the previously scrapped data so now in history we can see that this is the previously scrapped data of mine which we do not require now right we can just delete over here we need this data right 363 data how do you do that just click on this extension click on the start button So this is new software, right? So some glitches you can expect. So now you have to go to this extension. Now you have to just click on the start button. Now there will be, the, that will ask you, right? How much data you want to scrap? Now you cannot scrap unlimited there is some limitations so you can scrap at a time i would suggest do not scrap more than six seven hundred data so i will just but the total data we have here is only 363 in this case but there can be cases look like you have 15,000, 20,000 data profiles based on your filtration uh, advanced option you have used right so all i will just type is 363 data that we need to scrap this suggest right linkedin scrap query at thousand per day so there is a limitation of scrapping at thousand data per day but there is a trick which i can use i will show you i will tell you in the next in the comment section how you can scrap unlimited just ask me a question and i will answer that 
so now I have started the software has started scrapping the data as you can see the software is working and it's scrapping the data right as you can see the software has started scrapping the data uh, it's very fast actually it's not very slow you can see but still we have to wait as you can see it's scrapping all the 15 pages one by one by visiting all profiles meanwhile i would like to uh, inform you about another thing like there are requirements of clients right some people require only like previous some current present company uh, and uh, education details but some people require previous data like past employment data past education data year which they pass out at present at what year they left the company provided that the data is present uh, there will be two options that i will show you once the data is scrapped that you need to choose depending on your requirements so let the data get scrapped i'll just pause the video video and once the data is scrapped i will be right back to show you the what option to choose based on your requirement okay guys welcome so now we'll see i not scrapped all the data there's some internet issue i had like it, till the 10th page i have scrapped now let's how do you access the data where the data is so all you have to go is go to the extension go to the history and you can see here 230 data has been scrapped now i was remember i was telling you depending on your requirement you have to select two so this is the download button now there are three types right you have to you can get csv json and raw so i don't know how much their knowledge about json because it is for developer i'm not a developer i know about two things csv and raw raw what we will get is you will get all the previous employment as well as education details in csv you will not get all the like suppose a person has worked for eight companies so you will not get data of that all the eight companies previous eight companies you will get maybe one or two companies you have worked for and maybe one or two office education we will not get all the education here completed over the years and that is listed on his profile of course so if your requirement is all the data you need then you have to just type in raw if you just read some small data current data not much previous data then you have to type csv so i'll just go for raw and i will just click on ok and it will just download the csv file right so I will just open it and show you to show to you. Let me just open anything like that. I'll just this is the file. Just let me open for sake of it. Uh, let me open the file which we just downloaded. We drag and you will see this scrap data. So this is our scrap data. You can see it, right? Let me arrange it properly. Let me arrange it properly. So as you can see now, this is the data which is scrapped. You can see the education details of this person, what I did, what field of study he did, um, what university he studied, right? What degree he took, all the data you can check over here, right? 
let me just see just one this thing right as you can see this is all the data all the position previous position you can see all the past company work for like he worked for visa company like what was its title over there which year he worked which year he ended all the data we now have in our excel sheet so this is how you scrap data i hope you understand it right it's very simple so this is the first tool and it is most reliable tool compared to the second tool which we are going to use that is also reliable but for if you need this past details more then this is the tool to go but if you are not concerned more about past details of the person then the second tool might you want to look at so now let's go to the um, i hope you all like this video understood how you can scrap linkedin data um, easily uh, if you have any questions comment below and if you want to know how you can scrap uh, overcome the limit of 1000 data scrapping per day comment below and i will message you personally uh, with the trick that i know and if you need more such useful videos do subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in my next video now